Let's make a thumb yarn ball and let's do it now. Good morning. <clears throat> this is Barbara from Arkansas. And I'm rocking in my rocking chair this morning with my baby Connor. Can you see Connor? <laughs> see if we're not. Anyway, there he is. Well, I have this uh, spool of yarn. I mean this uh, skein of yarn and I'm going to make it into uh, a little, I call them thumb balls. I don't know really what the name of them is, but it, it's where you wrap the thread around and make a ball and of yarn. Here's one. I just recently made and what's so special about these and why I like them so much is that all I have to do is pull my little paper out of the middle where I've wrapped the beginning of the yarn. Can you see? Right there. So what you're doing is you're as you're crocheting is what I do. Uh, I pull it from the center so I can sit it right here on this table over here and when I'm crocheting it it won't roll off because I got a kitty cat and she loves to play with this ball once it falls off the table so these are made so that they can sit still on the table as you work from them from the center and how I make them, I don't know how other folks make them, but how I make them is I take some yarn. This is, uh, I don't even have a label on this one. Uh, I think I picked it up at a flea market or something. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, you should get the beginning of your yarn. And the way I do it, I just wrap it around, my, tie a knot in the end of it. Just any kind of knot be okay. Uh, I usually make a little, little thing like this little thing. You can see a little cute little thing with that. And I use that as uh, the beginning. So I usually just put it around my little finger. Bring it behind my pointer finger. See how I did that? Behind my finger. And then I pull it around the pointer finger. And then what I do, I start right here at this knuckle, right here. And I just start wrapping. And, I don't know, I wrap quite a much at the beginning. And then I keep pulling it down like that. Now, pulling off the skein is really <laughs> the most difficult thing about making these balls because I can be watching TV. I was watching Sherlock Holmes the other day and I went ahead and you know as I get the skeins I try to prepare them into these thumb balls and you just keep wrapping as you can see until you get a pretty good size ball like that all the way up. I usually go all the way up as far as it'll go. Catch under here and come around. If you don't, it will slip and wrap around your thumb. So like I say, the getting off the skein is the hardest thing. But anyway, you go and you go under here and over, under here and over like that. And then I turn it and when I turn it, when it gets big enough that I can turn it, I can just lay the beginning yarn behind my hand. I hope you can see this. Behind my hand. And then I just keep taking the yarn off the skein. And then I begin again, coming around the bottom like this. And around the top like that. See what I'm doing? I don't know, I probably do them maybe 12, maybe 12 between 12 and 20. It's according to if I get absorbed about the movie or if I 
have to stop every time to unwind the skein. But anyway, I can continue to <coughs> go around the bottom here by the thumb, around, thumb, 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 thumb. And now I just turn it a little bit because I still want to come under here. So then I go back up to my thumb. May end up putting the skein on the floor. Let's see if Itsy doesn't bother it. I'll put it on the floor, see if that helps it any. And then I just continue to wrap and wrap like that. And then turn. And then again, I come back under here. And back up to the top of my thumb. You see that? Now, don't put it on your thumb too tight. <laughs> you don't want the end of your thumb to, your thumb just turned blue. <laughs> when I was a little girl. <laughs> oh, there was a lady that lived, I guess Mama rented her a little house or something. Anyway, she taught me how to crochet. I think, I don't know how old I was, I was young. And we would sit on the front porch swing and crochet. Well, one of the first things I had to learn was to make a ball. Do you know how hard it is to be a child and try to figure out how to make a ball <laughs> out of yarn? I'm telling you, I was all fingers and thumbs. But she was very patient with me and did manage to teach me how to crochet and read patterns. So after I got married, I was able to... Uh, crochet doilies and stuff. Can you imagine anybody crocheting doilies in this time and age? But then I learned to knit when I was in California. And I got crazy knitting. I loved knitting at that time. <laughs> and I, I knitted little sweaters. Every color for my daughter. Every color. If, she ha if I made her a red short set, I made her a red sweater. With buttons, a little cardigan, a little cuffs, and a little, you know, lapel going down with the buttons on it. Really cute. I don't know how many I ended up making, but they were so easy. I could make them in a week. Which she was a little bitty girl. She was, what, nine, ten months old just walking. So, so anyway, um, I'll stop the video. And... Uh, then I'll show you how it finishes, finishes out. So, here I am. I've got my, uh, <coughs> my ball, uh, almost complete, my thumb ball, almost complete, as you can tell. And, I'm just going to finish up. And I'll tie a knot in the bottom, as you can see, on my end of my thread. Just tuck it in somewhere, because this is the outside. This is going to be the last place the yarn comes off the ball would be the outside, of course. Now, I take my thumb out. Here we go. Here's the center. Isn't that cool? And then you take the, the very first one you started with on your little finger, remember? And usually, I put a label... From the skein itself on here so I know you know the color and the lot and all the information I would like cut some of this off and put it on the end of the yarn but since I got this one I think it's Goodwill I think it's where I got this yarn uh, I didn't have a, any kind of label so I took a label off one of the other ones I had already wound that I had extra and just wrapped the end on it real good and fold it up. Just 
roll it a little bit like that until it's short enough. And then I just set it in the ball like that. And there is my thumb ball. My, well, well, I guess I was supposed to say yarn thumb ball, but that's what we call them as thumb, yeah, the thumb balls. And uh, there it is. And I hope you have a great day. And uh, the sun's still shining. And Clyde just come, Connor just come in to say hello to everybody here. Got on my lap. Didn't you, honey? Yes. Yes, you did. Yes. And, uh, Y'all have a great day, as I said just now. <laughs> Y'all like, subscribe, and uh, click that little bell if you want to see what I'm up to next, or even care what I want to do next. Remember that uh, someone larger than us has us in his hands, or her hands. And uh, may God bless you all. Happy New Year.